today I found there is a MS-DOS 6.0 source code available in uh, GitHub um, and I tried compiling it although I couldn't get everything to compile I did manage to get the uh, most relevant parts of the kernel to compile uh, by most relevant I mean basically IOSIS and uh, ms -DOS -SIS. Um, the, these are the absolute core of ms -DOS. basically you boot from by loading IOSIS and uh, starting execution from there of course before that you have the boot sector itself which is loaded by BIOS and um, since I couldn't exactly find a working source code for that in this directory I made my own but point being that uh, I actually am booting uh, the IOSIS and ms -DOSIS that are compiled from these files and uh, IOSIS is in this directory called BIOS and ms -DOS is in this directory called SIDOS if you look at this directory uh, these directories in the, the way I am now using them I have stripped everything which is uh, let's say non-standard there are no binary blocks there it's just pure code that can be compiled in both cases and the uh, uh, system the IO system will actually begin from booting from this MS load code be exact the first uh, command is this jump to this same input for, uh, values which is here so if I'm gonna make my own boot sector I will need to include uh, the, well, let's say initialize these uh, registers uh, there's just the drive we pulled it from, which in this case would be the floppy drive number zero. There's media byte, which is specific to particular disk format. For 1.44 megabyte, this is F0 hex. First data sector, this is uh, LBA number, so this depends a little bit on the particular file system format. Um, but typically it's a fairly small number like in I think in this case it's 33 so it's 34th sector because sector number zero is the first sector of the disk and there is a uh, registers that indicate the address for this uh, uh, disk parameter table sometimes it may be boots even without that but I better include it there and this uh, file will be generated if I run this, uh, this patch file that I generated. Basically, nothing strange happened. It's, it uses the macro assembler which was provided by this uh, GitHub. And uh, Linker is also there. There's a little bit of relocation there, nothing special. And then it combines everything into this IOSIS. All that is quite straightforward. If I run it, I always uh, actually delete every binary so make sure that I have final files. Now we have the uh, IOSIS there. Uh, we need to remember the file size because I'm mean, going to generate the floppy image kind of manually in assembler where I have to input the file size. Then in the directory DOS we have uh, MS DOS SIS. Second batch file uh, uses this stripping utility to extract, uh, remove basically some unnecessary uh, binary data that's been generated during the compile process. Uh, but there's a source code for that as well. It's in C composite 2.01 format. It's the turbo C. Uh, yeah, indeed, and uh, nothing weird is there actually happening either. It generates and stuff this. Uh, 
there. Um, so what I have here is uh, assembly file which composite NOS NetWire assembler. This uh, follows the idea of standard uh, MS DOS uh, boot sector, although it's simplified quite, quite considerably from what they actually use. And then um, after that, I basically manually generate the file system. So what we have is two file allocation tables according to the standard and the, uh, the bias parameter block. Definitions for uh, FAT12, which is the standard file system for MS DOS uh, floppies. Uh, followed by the file location tables, we have the root directory, as one would expect. It contains file names, attributes, although I set all the attributes to zero because I don't give a fuck. And then uh, there's a logical cluster which indicates where the file starts and then the file size. This refers basically to the uh, uh, how the file is uh, spread among the disk clusters is defined in the file allocation table. So basically here how this is generated I will show a bit later. Yeah, all the files have basically the same information just uh, one after another in the root directory and the addresses are defined by the sizes of these uh, file allocation tables and root directories which are then again de defined by this parameter block like for example uh, root directory entries but what you have with 32 bits per bytes per root directory entries this basically defines the size of it and the address and uh, what size is basically defined here and then there are other parameters like uh, how many uh, Zulinger's heads and sectors does this drive have and all the basic stuff like that. So how the boot process proceeds is um, we have to basically know where the root directory is and then basically we load one sector, uh, first sector of the root directory with this address 500 hex which will be used by the IOSIS later on. In this case it was uh, <coughs> sector number two uh, using head number one on the disk and we also need to load uh, three sectors from uh, data area uh, basically the beginning of this IOSIS. Um, in this case it was at sector number 16 and head one. We need to load it to 700x after that we are basically Next step would be to boot, jump to the address of the IOSIS in memory then and, uh, and boot. Like mentioned earlier, we need to set these couple of parameters for it to boot correctly. Uh, then we have this uh, famous 55AA hex, uh, which ends the boot sector, lets the BIOS know that it is actually a bootable sector and it allows it to boot. At the end of the file, we basically have the data area where all the files are just. Uh, copy it one after another. Uh, the only difference is that if our file is not uh, multiple of sector size, we have to align it with the sector size, uh, cluster size. The uh, floppy disk sector it always has 512 bytes, but it can also, the cluster, which is the kind of internal unit that is used by the file, file location table, that can also be anything, something else, up to 64 kilobytes. But 512 is pretty common, also 1 kilobyte is pretty common, so these files need to be aligned with the cluster size. And then in order to boot this uh, floppy image, it actually has to match the size. So we have uh, 2880 sectors and 512 bytes per sector in the 1.44 megabyte uh, floppy. And that's how we basically generate this uh, floppy image. Now I mentioned there was this file location table which was uh, loaded from external file. So here's a quick example how to generate that. I uh, also calculate some other stuff like the positions of this uh, uh, root directory and data area which are using the code in, in this C code. But uh, the primary point of this code is that uh, we generate the file allocation table here. And this is generated basically by knowing that the first uh, 
two entries in the file allocation table, they are not used. And the uh, uh, next entry of those will be the uh, indicator of what is the next cluster for the IOSUS as it continues to read. And in this case, since the files are just copied directly, these are just basically numbers 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so forth in the continuing order. This is the size of the IOSUS, and this is MSDOSUS, and this is command com. Um, this basically generates this uh, bytes corresponding to this 12-bit uh, uh, numbers indicating what is the next cluster for this file. It could be an arbitrary order, but since we are just copying them directly, it's uh, directly in the increasing order. There are a couple of per file, there's always uh, one entry which indicates uh, end of file. This I just place there manually, but you can of course calculate what is the final entry for corresponding file size. And yeah, we just write this into a file so that we can import it in this floppy uh, uh, disk. Then if we run uh, uh, make, uh, make file for the, or let's say batch file that makes the uh, floppy image, you get the image itself. Let's see, this takes a while because it's filling the full bytes of the full disk image. And uh, DOS wonder, DOS is a little bit small, but not terribly. Yeah, here we have the file. This, as you can see, we have the code there which jumps to after the, this bias parameter block, then we have the bias parameter block there. If you jump to the code, you can see this is exactly the code that we put there. And if we go to the first sector after the boot sector, there is the file allocation table. So two entries, three bytes, which indicate uh, the unused parts of the file allocation table. Then we have this 12 bit format, uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so forth. This corresponds to IOSIS clusters, and then at some point here we have FFF, which indicates that it's ending, and then there's another file beginning afterwards. And that's all good. That's the way it continues. At some point here we have just empty space on the disk, so there's no thing there. And there's a copy of the file allocation table. This is just redundancy that does uses to, let's say, correct errors. In some cases, we check disk, but of course, that's not always possible. In principle, this is not, not even needed in some cases. And then followed by that, we have the root directory. There's the file name, nothing for the attributes, first cluster, and then the file size. And then, as expected, at some point, we have the IOSUS here. which looks exactly as the IOSIS would, as you would expect. Right. Then uh, yeah, I'm going to copy some games. This no, actually one game. I'm going to copy the Superplex there. Uh, just use this image mode in the uh, DOS box, and after that I'm going to boot it. This image will boot in uh, other emulators like uh, PCM or if you make it as for actual hobby, this can boot on actual old computer, it will boot. Uh, hobby is really fast. That's what we have here. We have uh, indeed MS DOS version 6.0. And um, of the first sector. As simple, we can see that this is indeed actually our code, just the way we made it. Okay, let's still try loading the uh, loading the root directory in debug. Uh, um, yeah. 
so we would have to calculate what is the sector that has the root directory in hexadecimal so we have root sector then we have nine sectors per file allocation table as defined in the disk parameter block and it's twice so we should have a sector 13 hex where the root directory is so this should show it yes there it is and since all is good there let us um, demonstrate that the game works